Hey folks, welcome to Kayak DIY. Here, myself and my father head off to iCast where we're going to be filming the latest products in paddle sports and fishing. Check it out. I'm here with Peter Murphy. You might recognize him from my previous iCast videos uh, where we ran through some of their kayaks. And now, as we said, we are looking at the production model. This is what you can expect when you go to purchase. And what can you tell me is mainly different from last year? What are some of the, like, the little refinements or maybe changes? Um, for one, I'll, I'll say I, I see a different color here, maybe. Yeah, well, what we decided to do was make the Dorado special with its color options. So what we are going with is now shades of the same color and camo. So this one is, uh, we call this is ocean blue, which is basically four shades of blue overlaid on top of each other, which gives a very striking um, color. It's got three dimensions to it. It's it's. It's similar to our other camo, but it's, it, it separates the Dorado as, it's, as the Dorado. So that was one special feature that we brought, brought into these boats. Uh, from last year, um, there have been some significant changes. Uh, if we have a look at the, the forward storage, we've actually incorporated a, another container on top of the top hatch. With inside the actual hatch itself, We actually have now a bucket that houses all our controller and motor equipment. This will also, um, is big enough to house a battery for your depth finder, everything else, your sonar. The other thing that we didn't show last year was the actual so sonar pole that goes down through the hull. And this is actually adjustable, that you can actually drop it down, and then if you're coming into skinny water, you can actually lift it back up and it retracts the sonar back up into the hull. So that's a, a difference. Um, while we're here, the other thing we have added is bottle holders and um, some more storage in the front area um, that is new to the boat. Going backwards, um, what we've done here, uh, what we had to do uh, for production was actually put in a aluminium brace that actually locks the top rails to the floor to the other top rails on the other side. So you can see these pylons here, which actually holds an aluminium brace, which keeps the boat extremely rigid. Uh, this was quite important. The other thing that you don't see, which is significant, is we have a central scupper system, which collects the water, um, drains it towards the center of the boat, and actually um, it exits there. What that does is it means the boat is drier um, if you're tipping it from side to side because it drains centrally. So that's another feature that we didn't have last year that we've incorporated in this year. Um, apart from that, um, the rest of the boat is, is as we see it, it's, it comes with its um, integrated wiring system, um, has the gravity seat of course, we now have got our eight ball steering system, which is um, standard for this, this boat. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're expecting to see some real excitement with this product, and so far it it's, uh, seems to be that way. So it's, it's been a long time coming, but it was uh, definitely worth the wait. Well, it definitely is a showstopper. I mean, you see this, and uh, it, it stands out. It stood out last year, it stands out this year. Um, the, the cool thing is you do have a handheld remote. We showed this last year. Um, you have a digital display, which can give you kind of your um, information on your battery and all that. Uh, you have a kill switch here that you can wear, and if you fall overboard or so, you uh, it will kill the, the motor. Um, but with this cathedral style hull, like uh, it's a very pronounced like tri-hull design, you're gonna really um, be having to try to, to flip this thing. Uh, you know, you could probably stand, I'm sure, way on the, each side of the gunnels on this kayak and be just fine based on the width and the hull design. Uh, yeah, you got, they got a pretty nice uh, size fish finder on here. And actually, it seems to fit the boat well. I mean, it, <laughs> everyone's going bigger. So, um, you got lights here. 
for nav uh, because you have a motor so um, you know you got the nav lights you got lights on the interior there that you can see that kind of glow like a bluish hue and it looks really cool through this skeletonized uh, portion of the the craft and with the the blue on blue it's it's really cool and so on the back here we got the battery pack and I believe he was uh, running some of the lights there from those buttons there's your battery so you can put a, a standard battery in there I mean everything that you um, see here is, is what we did present last year um, to say the overdrive was new last year but it's been now in the market for a yep. year so um, probably um, this is a new beaver tail rudder system that we've actually put on this boat. Uh, what it does is it's scaled to the size of the boat. It's a big blade running off our 8 ball system so it gives you really strong turning capability and absolutely secure tracking. So once again this is like a new feature that we've actually added to this product. Okay. Now I'll show you that 8 ball right here. So let's see does this okay there you go i see it's this way more intuitive there you go i was going this way yeah so go right to push it right there. really cool okay well there you have it i'm going to actually have all the information for this kayak linked in the video description below plus watch this end screen and i'll have a link to my other video from previous iCast so you can kind of get both videos all in one so uh yeah, pretty exciting. I need to get out on one at some point. And uh, also, take a look at some of this footage from Thailand. <laughs>